Iranisha woke up and found her house surrounded by police officers. And she was immediately questioned about child abuse. You see, one of her sons was covered in bruises and had internal injuries. She eventually lost custody of all her children, but today she wants to clear her name and get her kids back. Take a look. My brother Brandon was killed in a motorcycle accident. And if he was here, I know that he would want justice for these kids. And I know he will also want to hear the truth about these kids, what happened to them. My brother was dating a girl named Arnisha, and they shared two kids together. My brother was an amazing father. When he got with Arnisha, he took on the role of taking care of all her kids. My brother was tragically killed in a motorcycle accident um, in 2016. And after that, you know, things just went different. Well, me and my brother was very close. When I got the phone call, it was one of the worst thing I've ever experienced in my life. I regret most about not, talk, not being able to talk to him. Um, a week before he was killed, I, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I never got to say goodbye to him because me and Arnisha was into it. We got to fighting. If he were here, I would want to tell him that I love him and I miss him. And I know if he was here, would none of this be happening about these kids? That's what makes me angry. <laughs> That's why I'm not going to stand by and let my nephews get abused. That's why I feel the need to step up. And I feel like these children's story needs to be told and the truth needs to come out about what really happened to my nephews. What I think is going on is that she let different men abuse the children. I feel like she's covering for her boyfriend. What kind of mother chooses a man over her kids? Arnisha needs to know that these are my nephews and I'm not gonna let anyone, anyone abuse them. She needs to get her act together and she needs to learn how to treat these kids. These kids deserve to be loved, to be cherished. You shouldn't abuse any child. No child deserves abuse. It's, it's not true. I'm a single mother of five. I've been a single mother for five, for four for a long, a long time. I just had my son. I've been doing this by myself. Nobody, nobody have helped me or anything. Yes, her brother, he was a great man. And I wouldn't I'm not taking that from her at all. But about my kids, I love my kids. And I, me or no one have abused them. Like, and she never around, so how do you know, how did have you talked to my son for him to say that? You ha she haven't been to a court date, not a visitation, or nothing. Only thing is just things like, it's just drama, and it's just drama. She haven't seen, she haven't seen my kid. What, you, when the last court date? When was the last court date? Never came to court, I never seen her face, because I've been to every court date. I've been to every court date, I've never seen her. What? what? My nephews, what you Girl, mean? When have you, court when court last time you, have you seen me? Let me come to when the court okay. date. Okay, we're, we're, we're going to get to her. We're going to get to her. Yes. Sure, get to her. But when we show pictures of your kids, they obviously have suffered. This, this um, I like my, my one son. Yes. Uh, I didn't, I didn't uh, see your bruises. When I did see the bruises, I, I spoke up on them. Cause Who did not, that to him? Um, he said Ezekiel. It, and Ezekiel, Ezekiel is who? My boyfriend, well, my ex-boyfriend or whatever. He's still a friend, but... Okay, and you said your, your children are all taken away. What are you doing to get them back? Everything. I, I, classes, um, parenting classes, anger management classes. Did I, you get rid of Ezekiel? Yes, we don't, we, we're not. They, I just really feel like I don't have my kids. I don't want to be in a relationship. That's just how I feel. So, you know, and he, uh, he said he Did you ever confront that. them? Yes, he stayed with me. He, uh, he went to and all of that. My producers spoke with Ezekiel yes. they, today, mm -hmm. and he said that you're still together. No, we're not. No, we're not. So Ezekiel's lying? Yes. So he lies, he beats on your kids, and you're still friends with him. Your grandmother left Come us a it. voicemail. Let's play that now. Hello, my name is Robin. I am Aranisha's grandmother. I have custody of two of her kids. I feel like other men have abused her kids. One of the kids I took to the hospital and was said that he was abused. I love our nation, but if she failed the lie detector test, I would like to continue to take custody of those kids. Thanks, Steve, and have a blessed day. 
She want that's the one baby that she want, and then defense made her get another one since you that's, that's what you, you mm -hmm. think you want. So yeah, you get another. Do you hate one. your kids? No, do I you, have whooped them, but I do not beat on my kids. When you whoop them, what, do you ever use a belt? I have before, but not not all up here and all that. No, I have not. The father of two of your kids, he uh, was killed unfortunately in a motorcycle accident, but his sister Lashonda's here, the aunt to a couple of these boys. Let's bring her out, Lashonda. You say one of the boys got his teeth knocked out. Yes, my three-year-old's nephew, whose pictures of those, me and my mom was keeping them. She just had her, her baby. She brought him over my house. She brought him over my house. And my, my two-year-old nephew, he came, he said, look, auntie, I was getting ready to bathe him. And I said, what, auntie, baby? He said, like this. And I said, well, who knocked out auntie, baby, T? You know, he said, my mama. Now, this baby, how, how can he say his mom? My son is six. I don't knock his teeth out. He don't have any teeth getting knocked out. So why is this baby teeth not? I'm not talking about Steve from the root. From the root. This, this, she have admitted to letting Ezekiel beat the children. She have admitted to beating these kids. Uh, do you believe that she should get custody of the kids back? Hell no. Nah. There's no way in hell. No way in hell. No way in hell. Did you ever allow anyone to strike your children causing injuries? She said yes, she confessed. Did you ever witness anyone else strike your children causing any injuries? She said yes, she confessed. But she ain't do it, though, ho. That's the same You ain't doing it, shut up, did, did you witness... Come did on you, with that speech, ho. I did you... Did you ever... Did you witness Ezekiel strike your younger son causing internal bleeding? Yep. Told me. She said no. She did not tell the Thank truth. Thank you, dumbass. <laughs> you let him be no jerk. I got yeah. something for you, ho. I got yeah. something for you. Besides, you. besides one time hitting your older son with the belt, have you struck any of your children causing any other injuries? Yep. She said no. She did not, not tell the truth. Have you ever like... withheld food from any of your children as punishment? Yeah. You answered no. You did not tell the truth. Thank you, dumbass. You'll be lucky if you go home and you're not arrested yourself. Okay, I'll, well, go home for what? Get arrested for what? Um, arrested for what? So, what, what, where her, where her well, you can't be arrested for being a miserable human being, so we can't get you for that. Um, but. You can't be arrested for child abuse, I ain't try, I ain't child torture, nobody. and you can I ain't be arrested I ain't for nobody. child neglect. Man. So the good thing is, your kids, you don't have them, and I doubt you ever will. Get the <laughs> off my stage. <laughs> you like what you see? All new episodes are coming, and you do not want to miss out. Click subscribe now. Thank <laughs> you.